Nick Rauscher here. Today we're going to be talking about Stony Hill Nugget number 250. We hit the mark. This one's entitled, Our Global Economic System is Broken. Again, a lot of stuff in this article. I'll hit the four or five here of the key concepts that I think are important in this article. First being the uh, global economic system, that's GES, is, bright, is broken and it's breaking our planet. Now, why do I say that? Because it's based on greed. Now, greed alone is it's not helpful for our country, obviously. But greed in the form of unlimited economic expansion and extraction of the resources is extremely dangerous. We've talked about this in previous nuggets. The reason it's dangerous is because unlimited growth is exponential in nature. In other words, the growth, even though it only looks like 1 or 2 percent, as it continues, it's 1 or 2 percent on top of 1 or 2 percent, and pretty soon that trajectory is headed straight up towards infinity. Okay, So when I say the system is broken, it's it would work somehow at some level if there was effective feedback systems. Unfortunately, we're deregulating the system, not regulating. And we should be increasing the regulation because that's feedback on negative feedback on the system. Okay? So that's why I say the, the economic system is broken. The second big concept here is that nature's climate intensification is the negative feedback that we're seeing for balance in, in nature. Nature's um, feedback systems are on autopilot. They're automatic. When some things change, the system automatically begins to bring everything back into balance, unlike our economic system which we're getting rid of the feed, negative feedback system. So it is beginning to approach infinity. Now, why is this important? Well, it's important because of no, point number three, and that is nature is neutral. A lot of the people say, well, nature is just punishing us. That's not true. There is absolutely no punishment in there. It's automatic. It's just nature's way of rebalancing the systems so that she can protect the living systems that she's created for the last couple of billion years, right? Now, why is this important? Because it's going to happen whether we believe in it or not. It's going to happen. And here's the point that I was trying to make in the article, and that is nature is going to win. Anyone who thinks that somehow we're going to come up with this magical scientific cure, okay, other than sustainability, we'll talk about that in a minute, they're smoking something. Nature is going to protect her living systems. She runs on autopilot. Those negative feedbacks are coming. Climate intensification is the feedback. And she is going to win. So, one of the things that we need to begin to do as a species is to begin to recognize that the planet is both limited and fragile. And it is protected by a very powerful system called natural laws or nature. Now, what that means is that we can no longer continue our uncontrolled extraction, or extractivism, as a lot of people call it these days. We're taking out our natural resources, our minerals, and, and we're taking out the uh, carbon that's been stored in the ground in the form of oil and gas. And what we have to do is stop this unlimited economic expansion and begin to talk about how do we use all of this stuff that we're taking out of the earth in a balanced way. In other words, uh, having natural um, 
the cost, the real cost for extracting all this stuff included in the commodities that we uh, build from all this extractive uh, material. And then how do we use it for mutual benefit? And this is an incredibly important concept. If you look at nature and if you look at living systems, every living system is balanced in that every single part of a living system is benefiting from being a part of that system. So all the cells, for example, in our body, they all benefit from being part of our body and we benefit from them. So nature is based on the whole concept of mutual benefit. Now, why am I pointing that out? Well, our economic system, and this is point number five, it's broken. But it's not a dark conspiracy like a lot of people are beginning to talk about. It. It's not a conspiracy. It's really simple. It's on checked greed and power. That's all it is. So if we're going to have an economic system that's going to work and provide mutual benefit, because right now it's only providing benefit for the 1%, literally, okay, then we have to begin to think about the concept that everything, and this is why the uh, uh, petroleum industry and a large uh, multinational corporations, why they're fighting it. Because they know that the minute they recognize and accept the fact that the economic system is broken, it's based, it's based on greed and power, bottom line, that's all it is. It's not a conspiracy. Now, the conspiracy might be that they're trying to maintain power, um, and I, I would probably give you that. But They'll, the minute they accept this concept of mutual benefit and the fact that the system does not have good feedback systems, good regulation, and they don't want regulation, obviously, then what's ha going to happen and what they know will happen is that everything will change. What our goal has to be is a sustainable deconstruction of this economic system. And we don't have, an, we don't have one designed yet that's going to be able to replace this economic system. That's part of the problem. We don't have any good models. So one of the things that I'm doing in this article is pointing out that here's, a, here's at least a starting point for a new economic model. It has to be based on mutual benefit. That's the only way that it'll work. That's natural law, okay? So what do we need to do? And all of these articles are designed to give us the tools and the toolkit, if you will, to make this transition from where we are in this economic system to a system that's more we-focused. That's the uh, mutual benefit. And that means deep sustainability. We will not have a sustainable world until enough of us are willing to change the way we think and begin to embrace a we-focus which right now, in this case, is mutual benefit, okay? And that's the basic concept in this article. Hope you enjoy it. There's a lot of stuff in it. Um, I think it's really pretty important stuff. So um, if you read it and if you think it's uh, helpful for you, please consider passing it on to uh, your friends and uh, reposting it, whatever, okay? And if you do, thank you again for supporting the work we do here um, at Stony Hill, both the, the nuggets and all the videos that we put out on this kind of material. Okay, have a good week. We'll see you down the road.